This is TV3 KARD Television, Wichita, Kansas. The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. Well, hello, folks. Sarge and I would like to welcome you back to Conversational Shaving. Isn't that right, Kitty? prep my face with uh, the Taylor of Old Bond Street chamomile shave oil, which I'm uh, very nearly out of right now. And my razor today, I'll show you the little box it came in with its uh, cartridges, I guess you'd call them. It's the Wilkinson Sword Bonded Razor, which kind of looks a little bit like an injector razor, but it's not. It came in here. It's uh, still got the original paperwork there. I doubt that the $2 cash refund or rebate is still any good. And uh, on what will be its second use is one of these Wilkinson Sword bonded blades, which is kind of what they were calling the first cartridge as we now know cartridges for razors to be. At that time, uh, cartridges were actually a little bigger and had those um, razor blade bands in them with a little dial you turn. But they called these bonded because they were bonded in plastic on both sides. And um, yeah, they came in, or they, there's some more left in there, and you would just stick this in here and click it and get a new blade and a new cartridge or bonded blade as they call it or called it and then you would use this little button you would press that and uh, over the trash can and that would eject the cartridge or the bonded blade so um this will be on its second use this blade and uh, my soap let's see is going to be this it is it's new from Chella, or relatively new. The, this has been around for a little while, but uh, it, they make several of these now in the tin, and this is the Reserva Fresco type. Um, it, and then it's got the Chella Man on there, uh, embossed, I guess. And you can, um, you can tell that it smells a lot like this one smells a lot like regular cello but with like an extra oomph to it the fresco scent so we have that and my brush today is going to be this <clears throat> excuse me it's the simpson trafalgar t3 the little synthetic brush with their sovereign knot i've already lathered it up a little bit and uh let's see i got some water i ran in the basin here which is slowly draining out but i just wanted to uh put the tip of that in there and wet it just a little bit i'm going to try to get a, a, a lather started on my face and and uh, hopefully you're all doing well out there this week so here we go see maybe just a touch more of that slowly draining water there oh this smells great uh, I did use this also once uh, before uh, a couple of days ago, two days worth of growth on my face here. Or was it four days ago? I think I used something else yesterday. I might have actually used some fancy goo in a can, I think, I think maybe. Let's see. This is quite nice. Lather is pretty good. I'm just kind of painting it on though. Very nice. And I'll drain what little bit of water is left in there and kind of wipe my hand off. And then we'll get started for the first pass, which will be with the grain. And because this is a single edge bonded blade, I'm gonna to have to rinse more often 
rinse the razor that is but I will cut all that out so you know for time purposes second use on this bonded blade Perhaps the, like I said, perhaps this was the first cartridge razor as we now know cartridges to be and cartridge razors. I like the fact that this doesn't pivot. Then you just find your angle and shave, excuse me. I tend not to get great shaves with um, with blades that pivot too much. I have a Mach 3 razor that uh, the, there's too much pivot in it. I feel like whereas it may follow the contours of my face, I feel like uh, I can't press down hard enough for it to do as good a job as this razor may do in certain areas of my face and neck. Okay, rinse time. I guess I can go on, go on up here and do this with, before I rinse. And, uh, excuse me while I rinse again so yeah in some ways this is almost like shaving with an injector blade but not quite not exactly <clears throat> and this might be better for shaving with a hopefully fancy imported can of foam But I'm also glad that there's only one blade in these bonded, or one bonded blade in these cartridges, as we would now call them. Because uh, I don't think you, I don't think a person necessarily needs all those extra blades. So this might be the razor to blame for the way things became later on with all the cartridges and then the disposables. Although with the disposables, the first one of those I remember was a lady's razor, the Flicker razor, which had a, a razor blade band and a little dial you turned and then when it was done, you just threw it away and bought a new one. I think they were like 99 cents back in the day, or 89 cents, depending on where you got them. My mom had one, and uh, against her wishes, I started playing with a little dial on there. And, and then the, the razor blade band, uh, it popped out of there, and it went across my fingers i didn't need stitches but it bled and it stung like crazy and i was crying and it was another one of my mom's i told you so moments and then she had to get another razor i'm sure okay let's go across the grain now
This razor and these blades do provide a comfortable shave. The actual blades must be stainless steel because they've lasted so long. They are new, old stock. And I bought some extra blades for the future from a different vendor. The uh, razor and blades I bought on eBay from there's there's some other other blades more of these that I uh, got from another vendor three more packages here we go I probably need to go water my garden it's getting late in the season though, so a lot of things have bloomed and died already. It's time. Now I'll go over here. Okay, we'll go against the grain now, starting my neck for this pass. Okay. You can still get these razors uh, on eBay, at least here in the United States. There must be a lot of there, a lot of them. They're all new, old stock, as are the bonded blades. And the price for them is usually reasonable. I got a pretty good deal on this one, considering it still came with its box and its uh, instructions. I, uh, one time I used the cartridge that came in this razor. I don't know if somebody tried it once and didn't like it or how many times they might have given it a chance. I had first put the thing in uh, barbicide and got rid, hopefully got rid of any uh, germs or disease or anything. 
but I popped that out of here after one use and got a fresh one, if you want to call it fresh, out of out of the uh, thing that I keep showing you here, out of there. Five come in there. Five bonded blades in each one of those things. We'll finish up this pass here pretty quick. I think I might have got myself there, I'm not sure. These blades can give you little weepers sometimes, but usually they don't. Let's see, I, I uh, didn't really need to rinse then, maybe, but I'm gonna go against the grain here above my upper lip and that, that could cause weepers going against the grain. Or catching my lip like I just did a little bit. I think I'm going to quit right there while I might be ahead, and I'll be right back for pickups. Hey Sarge, it's pickup time. Guess what, Kitty? You know what time it is. It's pickup time, right? Right, Kitty? Oh, okay. I did give myself some little weepers up here, but I kind of wiped them off, and now they seem to be gone, although I see something here, maybe. Yeah, I definitely see some, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but. Oh, I might have been pushing too hard with it, even with this uh, bonded blade early form of a cartridge razor. Rinse this. I believe nineteen seventy one <clears throat> is when I read that these blades came out. Or I believe I read that they came out in 1971. That wasn't the year I read it. I would have, or if I did, I, it didn't mean anything to me way back then. Which is strange because I'm only 39. I'm going to rinse the razor one more time and go over my neck just once more.
All right, well, I can only say this is a darn fine shave. I can't say it's BBS. It's nice. It's about what you would expect with one of these. And I suppose I could stand here and try to gild the lily all night. But, uh, man, it's probably not a good idea. I'll be right back with my good friend, our good friend, Mr. Tao. Here's our good friend, Mr. Tao. Huh. Yeah, hearing some audio feedback still there. Let's see. Turn this over and get everything else. I'll start a brief recap and put the finishing touches on the shave here. Put Mr. Tal back where he goes. And before I got on camera, I prepped my face with Taylor of Old Bond Street chamomile shave oil. There's that again. And my razor has been this Wilkinson Sword bonded razor with one of these bonded blades, as they're called, or early form of a cartridge, um, and uh, it was on its second use. So, my cream has been this, the Cella Reser Reserva Fresco. And they have, uh, I think, a couple of more varieties of this uh, newer kind of Cella hard cream crope available and my brush has been this um it's a simpson trafalgar t3 synthetic brush with their sovereign knot okay i'm gonna reach for some of the sayers lavender witch hazel no alcohol so it's just a toner not an astringent Nice light lavender scent on this. Very light. I don't think one has to worry about it clashing with anything. It never has so far with me anyway. Okay. Um, probably need to wipe my hand off, but that's the Thayer's Lavender Witch Hazel. I use that a lot. And now, uh, as far as aftershave goes, I just, and I don't think they make a special kind to go with that cream, so I have the regular uh, traditional red Chella aftershave lotion, red label, I should say. And shake that up a little bit. I'll get some going in my hand down here. There's a good restrictor on that. You have to shake it quite a bit to get enough out. And a very narrow restrictor on the bottom. I'll get some going on the wrists, up behind the ears, on the temples, back of the neck. Yeah, there is some alcohol in this because I am getting some sting, but that's okay. lovely scent and it does go well enough with that soap i mean that cream or crope because the the base notes on the new cella cream seem to be uh that of regular cella but there you go there's the regular traditional red label uh, aftershave lotion for regular cella that comes in a red tub, plastic tub. And now, here's the cella aftershave balm. 
Get a little bit of that out of there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whoa. This, even with all the cuts, this video might go over a little bit. I might have to do some extra cutting in the editing process. It's all digital, of course, so no actual snipping of film or the electronic editing of videotape will be necessary. Okay, that's it. Let me uh, recap this and show it to you again. Then I really got a bomb out of here. It's the red cella aftershave bomb. See you later.